This has got the Fix-It guy, and we're dealing with the Keurig coffee maker who has a weird display. Press the buttons, and the display is just kind of stuck. So it's a common problem, and the way we can correct it, unplug it first. And then we're going to lift up this part, and you're going to find there's a couple of Phillips head screws. One there and one there. I already took them out, but there's a little hole right there, a little hole right there. And then once you get those screws out, you can get this plate off. So this plate, I'm just going to lift it with my fingers. You see that comes right up. Once you get those screws off, it comes right up. Lift that up going to come off. So we have this little piece here. When you put it back on, it's going to go over this structure here. But the next thing we're going to do is just get inside here to tighten up a connection. So to do that, you have some plastic tabs here on the perimeter. And a couple of these have broken off, but if you just pry those back, use your finger, it'll, that upper case will pop off. And if the tabs break, it's okay because they don't really, they don't do a lot. It'd be nice to keep a couple of them intact. So I'm lifting up, separating those two halves, so I'm trying to get in there to tighten up a connection. I'm going to lift up on that tab. Just trying to separate these. There we go. And that's going to allow me to get inside there and tighten up a, a little connection. So we loosened up those tabs around the perimeter. Get this up all the way. We're going to separate these two. So we've got to gain access to inside here. Inside, you can see that that white modular plug back there, and then a bunch of uh, colored wires hooked to it. And all you got to do is just reach in there and push that little plug down into its socket. Just reach in there with my finger, and once you get that in there, just push it down. And then you're going to have a better connection with the screen again. You're going to be okay. So now it looks like we have the display back. We're going to press the power button. Yeah, so that's just that loose modular piece in there. And you'll get your control back. Now to put it all back together, we'll go ahead and unplug it again. And <clears throat> now that we got that modular piece back, we want to just take these tabs, close this back up, push these tabs shut so your finger will work fine. Here I'm quick. Hopefully you have a couple of tabs that didn't break. There we go. And now we'll click it all back together. Then we're going to put this plate back on and then we'll put in a couple of Phillips head screws. So to put this plate back, I've got this, this piece, it's gonna go over this plastic piece here. It's kind of like the male side and then this would be the female side. So to do this, I've got the Keurig open, I got this piece, I'm going to slip it down in there and make that female part go over that male part, coming in at a pretty steep angle. I'll show you guys this.
can see it going over there. Okay, I feel like it just went over, slipped over, the female part slipped over the male part, so I'm gonna bring it down. And there we go. So that cover fits on nice and flat again, but I still need to put in the two Phillips head screws. So one's gonna go right there, and one's gonna go right there, and then you're done. Go plug it in again. There's our power button. Turn on the power. Yeah, the screen's back. So it's just that. Little modular plug gets loose every now and then, and you can just go in there and tighten it up. Thanks so much for watching, and if this has helped you, please click the donate button that's coming up in the next few seconds.